Hi everyone, this is Yurana Chi and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I have very fun, cool photography hack for you is a one dollar background. Yes, you heard me right. Can you really have a cool variety of backgrounds for one dollar? So let's find out. So the story behind this video is um, maybe a week or so ago I went to the 99 cent store to pick up some props for one of my shoots and it happened that I saw the whole wall of the party supplies and there was like they was arranged by colors and then I saw that each color they have a tablecloth like a um, disposable plastic tablecloth and they all have this so many vibrant cool colors and it's just idea coming to my head like a light bulb oh my god maybe that would be an amazing background like how cool would that be so i just got a bunch of them i think around seven and they had more colors by the way just a quick note that they did have also white and black which i didn't get because i had though i have those backgrounds on, on my own uh i wish i would because i think that the white would be a great diffuser yeah. before i'll start to talk more in depth uh, i want to say big big thank you to uh, my stylist rachel bettis and the model lela for uh, participating in this photo shoot because um, they helped me to really um, bring my vision to life actually i haven't worked with colorful backgrounds ever when it comes to think of it so it was kind of fun new things for me so i also went on styling for the shoot i went for vibrant colors in, in clothes and makeup and like kind of cool editorial hairstyles so it really helped out to backgrounds look better i suppose <laughs> After testing and having a photo shoot, I'm going to go step by step. So there is a pros and there is a cons. And I'm going to start with the cons first and then I'll go to the pros. Because there's a lot of those. Okay, so con number one is when I actually take this uh, cloth out of the package and unfold it, it turned out to be much more thin than I expected. So it's kind of translucent. So the thing is, it doesn't, it didn't have that vibrant, rich color the way it had when it was folded in the package. So that's kind of, you know, I mean, the color will not be as vivid if you would use a paper background, for example. I personally just tape it to uh, my white wall and it worked just fine. Uh, or you can fold it in half and it's quite long. So you will still be able to get away with it for a portrait shoot for sure and if you fold it in two obviously the color will be much more vibrant but as i said uh, i attached mine uh, against the white wall and it kind of it looks okay it looked okay it didn't look super good but it looked okay the con number two is well it, it doesn't look that professional i mean it's a piece of plastic attached to the wall with a painter's tape. I mean, in terms of can you use it somewhere for the client shoot? Would I bring it to the client shoot? No, I wouldn't because it just... It, unless you can say that this is kind of a new uh, stream in photography and that's just like everyone do it. It's, but yeah, unless you sell it, it, it doesn't look that, that very well. Con number three is... And my opinion, it was something that bothered me the most in terms of when you take it out of the package, it folds. So when you unfold it, you can still see the wrinkles in the places when it was folded. So, and it will going to show, I mean, for the close-ups, it works perfectly fine. It, it works great. The, you cannot really see them. But when you take a full body shot, by the way, the, it, the length is not really enough for have like a in studio that you can roll it in front of you, but it's enough to have a body shot for sure. So when you roll it and you take a much wider shot, you can kind of see the wrinkles. So the way around it, I think you probably can, I mean, steam it, if not the very high temperature because it is plastic and it is quite thin. And uh, I want to steam it, but then I didn't. 
So I just use it the way it was and I decide to kind of get rid of it in post, which is not super difficult. And I'm going to uh, upload the video, uh, editing video, how it will be just specifically how I get rid of uh, the wrinkles in the background to clean it up and make it nice and pretty. So yeah, I think this is kind of concludes the cons and now let's go to the pros. Okay, so pro number one is it's a one dollar background. I mean, you cannot go wrong with that. Just to play around, if you're starting out, if you don't know, you know, if you want to use colors and if you don't want to invest into background stand and the huge role of the, you know, background paper, that's a great way for you just to play around and just start kind of, it's a one dollar. It's a one dollar. The bunch of it, there's like, gazillion different colors so the price is right the pro number two is actually surprisingly it behaves very nicely in terms it doesn't really reflect the light it was my concern because when i pull it out of the package you know plastic can be quite can be a reflective surface so when i look at it i was kind of concerned how will it reflect with the flash it was absolutely fine in terms of does it reflect the light in a weird way it really doesn't so pro number three is it's super light and durable so in terms of it's just like you fold it and it's a little package you, you can just drop put it in your bag and bring it with you anywhere you want like to the other location someone else's house whatever anywhere it's not the that huge uh, role that you have to bring with you so that's a big plus as well as it's much more durable than the pa paper uh if you kind of if you ripped it i mean you know it's gone so yeah in, in terms of durability and lightweight it's definitely a go pros number four is kind of come from the con you know you always have to find the silver lining so i told as a con i told that the problem it's kind of translucent it's very thin so it doesn't have that vivid vibrant color but on the other side because it's kind of translucent you can layer one on top of the other to create beautiful rich color and some incredible tones so what i did for my first set i used the uh, yellow background yellow color and for the second i attached pink background on top of yellow and i got that beautiful rose gold color which was just divine so if you have a few backgrounds if you choose a few colors you can actually double that because you can just mix match them and create create those different tones i suppose so that's very cool and as a bonus as i said because it's translucent you can actually use the white one as a diffuser you can just put it on the stand in front of your uh, flash and it will just diffuse it beautifully also now what i'm thinking when i'm thinking about that you can probably use the colored one and maybe it will diffuse and have like a gel effect so if you want to see me testing that out just like and comment underneath this video so you want to see how that would act as a you know against the um, flash uh, will it diffuse how the color would turn out if you want to see that just yeah just let me know and i'm going to do that i mean how cool the video would be gel and diffuser all in one only for one dollar i mean come on <laughs> okay so that concludes my video you've seen how it's been done what i personally think uh, i think it's a fun idea it's something to definitely consider especially if you're just starting out and you want to play with different uh, colors different layers that's something uh, you can definitely do as a professional photographer do you want to use it that way mm, i don't know in terms of background i mean still the paper still more vibrant richer and create better results no doubt about that but you know i think i think it's a cool idea it, it wasn't failure for sure uh it looked better than i thought it would look and after post-production it just looked very very good so um and it's not that difficult to actually fix it a little bit in post so would i use it later on i don't know maybe 
maybe okay so if you enjoyed the video thank you so much please uh, thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're into photography that this is definitely a channel for you and also please follow me on instagram check out my work and i do create a special content for instagram as well um, so there's a lot of interesting things there and thank you so much and thanks for watching bye you're a holiday a glass of ocean slipping down my throat i'm landing on my hopes i'm dreaming off the maps no hidden grids i'm fleeing i worship you like holy days lying on my back seeing clouds and rays drinking lime and bitter from my lemonade white horses merry time won't do wow, wow.